Well guys, congratulations, you finally found it. The greatest tutorial series on Microsoft Excel ever created. Now, before I start teaching you guys about Microsoft Excel, I just want to warn you. This tutorial series is going to be incredibly addicting. Not only am I going to teach you guys everything you possibly want to know about Microsoft Excel, but it's going to be entertaining as well. So I'm just saying that because when you stop hanging out with your friends and you become distant from your family because the only thing you ever want to do is learn more Excel from these videos, well, don't say that I didn't warn you. So that's my little warning. So, you know, just heads up. That's how addicting Excel can be. Now, my guess is that if you have this program on your computer and you're trying to learn it right now, then you probably already know what it is. But for those of you who may just be learning it because your boss told you to, or maybe you have to learn it for school or something and you aren't even sure exactly what Excel is, let me go ahead and give you a quick little explanation. Excel is a spreadsheet program, one of the most popular ones in the world, and that allows you to work with data in really cool ways. So what can you do with it? Well, on the home screen right here, you kind of see a glimpse of all the different things you can do with it. You can make invoices, you can make budgets, schedules. It's actually really cool for making schedules. Also, it allows you to make calculations really easy, graphs, charts, and all this stuff is not only really easy, but it's also really powerful. It gives you a lot of control over exactly what you want to do. So, if you never use a spreadsheet program before, then get prepared to work with data in a way that is just going to blow your mind. So let's go ahead and get started using this program. Now, like any project, I guess that's a kind of overall word for it, it has its own unique name in Excel. In Excel, projects are called workbooks. So that's why this first option right here is just called a blank workbook. Think of it right now like a blank project. Now, to open it, we can either click on it, but part of this tutorial series is giving you guys some cool tips. So, you know, if you don't have the energy to move your mouse all the way over there and click on it, and also, this is what I like to do, from this home screen right here, just hit Escape on your keyboard, and whenever you do that, it opens up a new blank project, also called a workbook. Now, think of a workbook like a regular book. This is made up of different sheets. Now, by default, we only have one sheet right here that we can add a bunch of data to, and I'll explain that later. If you ever want another one, then you can just click this little plus button right here, and this will add more sheets, and they kind of look like tabs right now that you can click between. So each of these kind of resembles like a new piece of paper that you can add data to. Now, if you ever want to go back to that home screen, just click this file tab right here, and it'll bring you back. So again, new, this is where you start out. Either click blank workbook or just hit escape and that's going to take you to where we want to be. So now that we got kind of the main interface, let me go ahead and explain kind of the basic overview of this program. Now, what I'm not going to do is in the first couple of videos, I'm not going to go through and explain every single little button and widget because first of all, it'll be incredibly boring. And second of all, it's going to overwhelm you before you even understand how to use the program. So what I'm deciding to do is we're going to cover all of the stuff as we need it. But for now, just so you guys feel a little bit more comfortable, let me give you like the five second overview of the interface. Now, one of the main things that's different from Excel rather than probably most of the software you've been working with in the past is that instead of a main menu bar at the top, this piece of software right here, it has these tabs. So it doesn't have like a generic menu bar like most pieces of software. These tabs right here are pretty much um, a way to access every single tool that you're going to use. Now, instead of drop down menus, of course, since we don't have the main menu bar, we have this thing right here. You see it has a bunch of different icons and I don't know, probably a bunch of stuff we don't really understand right now this area right here with all the icons it's called the ribbon so whenever I say go to the ribbon R-I-B-B-O-N this area is what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and talk about this 
main area right here. So this is of course a worksheet and it's where we're going to be spending most of our time. So a blank worksheet right now, of course we're going to be filling those stuff with it's blank right now. It's composed of rows, one, two, three, four, all the way down to pretty much infinity. It actually has a limit, but um, none of the projects we're going to work on will even bother with the limit. So it's made up of rows and columns. So in a nice orderly grid fashion. Now where they intersect, these boxes right here, they're actually called cells. And I'm going to be talking about cells a lot. So remember, whenever I say that, I'm talking about one of these little boxes. Now each of these cells, they actually have an address, and the address is the column and the row. So this first one is A1. This one right here is D6, column D, row 6. And the cool thing is if you ever click on one of these and you don't feel like going, okay, K and 8, 9, you can just look right here and it'll say the address of whatever cell you have currently selected. And also, another thing I probably should mention is whenever I say currently selected cell, the proper terminology for it is actually the active cell. So say right now, C3 is the active cell, D9 is the active cell. And I say this because we can actually select multiple cells at once. So there is a difference between what cells you have selected and one active cell. And I'll be talking about the different ways you can select later on, but uh, I just want to, you know, throw that at you at you first. So in this very first tutorial series, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things, and don't feel overwhelmed because this is just kind of an overview. I don't expect you to retain everything. Just kind of sit back, kick up your feet, follow along, and um, if you don't, you know, soak everything in your brain, don't worry about it. We're going to be talking about everything in detail later on. Now. Of course, anytime you want to select a different cell, just like you saw, I'm clicking it with the mouse right now. But for the people who love to use the keyboard, you can also use the arrows on your keyboard as well. So you see that my mouse is right here. If you ever click left, right, down, up on your keyboard, you can move around your spreadsheet or your worksheet with the keyboard as well. Simple enough. All right. So we know what this program does and we also know that this entire thing is called a workbook made up of these worksheets. Okay, pretty stinking boring. Let's go ahead and jump in to actually start putting some data in there. All right, I heard you guys. Let's go ahead and do that. So what data can we put in there? Um, I don't know. Let me just think of something off the top of my head. And by the way, another warning, these examples that pop, <laughs> that pop into my brain, they're going to be kind of weird because I don't I'm not going to plan like a, a bunch of this stuff. I don't have like a script I'm reading from. So uh, these are probably going to be some pretty odd examples. So this first one, which just popped into my head like two seconds ago, say that last week um, I was training for a hot dog eating contest. So the hot dog eating contest was on Saturday. So on Monday through Friday, I trained. I ate as many hot dogs each day as I possibly could. So let's go ahead and make a really simple worksheet to kind of resemble that data. So go ahead and hover your mouse over the A1 cell and just click it. So that right there is the active cell. So right here, um, once it's active cell, you can start typing stuff in. I'm going to type day. Now hit enter and that sets the text day to the cell. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in. We'll put the days of the week right here and we'll put how many hot dogs they ate right here. So the first day of course I want to track is Monday. So again select A2, type Monday and hit enter. Now we have a couple options right here. I could type Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but I am incredibly lazy as you will come to find out. So I wish there was an easier way to fill in the rest of the days a week. Well here's another tip that is going to come in handy a lot. If you select this Monday cell right here, you're going to notice that there is a box in the lower right corner. This is the autofill box. And what it does is whenever you hover over it, you see how your cursor kind of looks like a fat plus sign right now? As you hover over this fill handle, 
it's going to become a smaller, thinner black plus sign. This means that you are going to select this data with a fill handle and start dragging it down. It says Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.